So when it comes to, for example, um, attacking Islam, um, what I expect, again, this is a hypothesis, this is not a theory, is that the people who will, are going after Islam, but also fighting back against anti-Muslim bigotry, are not only promote, they're not only not promoting violence, they are stealing the platform and the attention and the audience from the people who are trying to use how vile and disgusting and backward Islam is as a way to convince more and more people that they should hate Muslims, right? And stealing, and given how easy it is to show how vile Islam is, <laughs> right? And that's and making it, you know, that conclusion for people to be that therefore they need to be anti-Muslim, right? It, it's an easy win for them. It's an easy way for them to get like, look, this is what the Islam says. Muslims believe in Islam. If you hate Islam, you need to hate Muslims, right? Us coming up and stealing that, like, hey, like. The, because it's so easy to convince people that Islam is violent and horrible, we could get to those people before or after they're being convinced that Islam is violent, but not let them to not let them go down that path of coming to the conclusion that they need to be hateful to Muslims. We are the people that get in the way to that, not by staying away and not talking about how bad Islam is, because if you do that, what you're doing is that you're giving the monopoly to that argument to the people that want to make, come up with conclusions that is going to be dangerous to the Muslim community. If you stay out of it, those are the only people that will have that narrative to go and promote, to use the anti-Islam narrative to wish harm on an entire group of people. And this is why I tell Muslims, right, let us be the anti-Islam activists. Don't let those bigots be the anti-Islam activists. Because it's better to be offended than to be discriminated against. We will challenge your ideas. We will challenge your religion. But when it comes to other people challenging your rights, we will be there to defend you. I promise you that. Call me out on that. Tell me that I'm not doing it when I'm not doing it. And tell me, I mean, like you said you're going to do this and you're not doing this right now. And we'll try to cover it as much. Like, again, we're limited by our resources, but we'll, we'll try, okay? We will challenge your ideas. But when other people are challenging your rights, we will stand by you shoulder to shoulder and defend your rights. Let us be your friendly neighborhood anti-Islam activists so that those bigots that are not just challenging your religion, which they are not, they're challenging your rights, they're attacking you as an entire community of people, let us replace them for you. All right, let's, let's read the rest of this limitation. Again, this is in the best interest of Muslims. I, I, I know it doesn't seem like it. I know if you're a Muslim and you see and you the emotional gut reaction that you have to you me to seeing me say these things that is about the things that you love, about the Muhammad and the Quran and Islam, I know it doesn't seem like I am on your side. It doesn't seem like it, but I promise you that I am. When it comes to things that actually matter, I am on your side. Yeah. Again, try to get over that knee-jerk offense. You know, I know you can't. A lot of you can't. But just try, okay? Try and if you can't, at least just don't watch my content. 